college has studied computer science and cognitive science. I have a plush of a T distribution. I'm familiar with the concept of probability, but if I'm being completely honest, until I started working on this video, I didn't really get the Monty Hall problem. <laughs> so instead of talking about which choice is correct, I wanna talk about why it's confusing in the first place and see if we can use that information to rethink the problem. If you're unfamiliar with the Monty Hall problem, you can pause and read here. Now you may not believe that, and you wouldn't be alone. Paul Erdős, who is the most published mathematician in the world, did not believe this at first. And I think the trick of the problem is that it tries to misdirect all of our attention to the second choice of whether we should switch or stay, and ignore our first door choice. So, one way to make it clearer that these two choices are linked is to rephrase the problem to be tangible with a three-sided die. So if we roll the die, whatever's on top is our first choice, and the bottom doors are the other two. We get shown a goat in one of the bottom doors, and then have the option to switch to the other. But if we think about all the ways the die could have rolled, it's more likely there's only one goat in the bottom doors than two, and that's why we should switch. 